let's start today's topic which is uh, beneficial roles of microorganisms in the food processing industry so what are these roles that we are going to discuss okay so microorganisms in food production okay first of all we'll understand you know what microorganisms we are talking about okay so we are talking about majorly uh, the yeast which is a unicellular organism then we are talking about various kind of molds which develop onto the food product and we are talking about bacteria uh, which affect the quality of food product okay and it is it is not that these microorganisms are being used okay in uh, in the recent years only they are being used in the food processing industry from thousands of years okay for example nobody know when the wine was discovered nobody know when the beer was discovered okay but if uh, if we talk about uh, the written literature on these alcoholic beverages we can say that these were discovered around you know 3000 years back that means at that point of time also there was yeast available and you know that's how these beverages were being manufactured okay so uh, these are uh, the things and we we know today that uh, you know these microorganisms help in making beer uh, bread wine vinegar yogurt and cheese okay and it, it is these uh, microorganisms also help in the you know uh, processing of various uh, fermented fish meat products and vegetables to so understand uh, how these are used the most important process in the food processing industry is the process of fermentation and fermentation is one of the oldest transformation and preservation technique for food as i said that wines and beers and all alcoholic beverages which we do not know okay, how long they are being manufactured but we know that they can be manufactured only with the process of fermentation because uh to produce uh, ethyl alcohol we need yeast which will convert sugar into ethyl alcohol this biological process allows not only the preservation of food but also improves its nutritional value and organoleptic qualities now what are these organoleptic qualities the qualities which are uh, you know relating to the senses okay for example uh, we know that bread is made by yeast it's a simple example a household example bread is made by yeast and uh, the flavor of uh, yeast is very much there in the bread okay when you smell it when you taste it you will find that a uh, specific flavor is there and that is because of yeast so it uh, you know the yeast increases the taste of the bread it increases the eye appeal of the bread okay now you see that there are various pores okay in the bread and these pores are because of the process of fermentation because carbon dioxide is released and this uh, releasing of carbon dioxide you know, makes pores in the structure of milk. and then smell as i am uh, already told you that uh, the the specific smell is there and bread feels soft when we touch it and that's because of uh, you no know, Uh, the fermentation process because fermentation increases the size of bread if you won't be using the process of fermentation in the bread making the bread will remain flat so these are uh, the important functions of uh, the process of fermentation and let's talk about a little bit history of you know uh, these uh, microorganism being used in the hotel industry or food processing industry the first realization that microorganisms were involved in the food production processes was in 1837 and because of, of the the scientist which is on the screen uh, louis pasteur so the world renowned uh, french chemist and biologist louis pasteur were trying to explain what happened during the production of beer and vinegar in 18 he found that microorganisms were responsible for the process of fermentation however it wasn't until after world war world war that the food industry began to develop the biotechnological techniques okay now we know that 
there are huge plants okay if you will go uh, to the gujarat okay you will find amuls planted there and they they the major processes which are followed in the in the production plant okay uh, is to process the milk and while processing the milk making cheese or any other kind of uh, product uh, lots of uh, bacterial cultures are developed and that's how you know, we get uh, such a tasty uh, butter jam uh, uh, and cheese okay, at our home so all these processes are uh, related to the process of fermentation or uh, to the use of uh, various microorganisms in the food industry now some points to be noted or we can say these are you know, important facts uh, that uh, are there in, in front of you currently more than 3500 traditionally fermented food exist right now in the world they are of animal or vegetable origin and a part of our daily life alcoholic drinks are not the only fermented drinks okay remember it's these are not the only fermented drinks we have learned in the first semester uh, how tea is made okay in the making of tea we learned about oxidation process or fermentation process in the making of uh, chocolate we learned that uh, cocoa beans are fermented okay in the making of uh, coffee we learned that uh, the coffee cherries are also fermented so uh, it is not uh, restricted to only alcoholic beverages but lots of uh, non-alcoholic beverages are also produced uh, by you no know, various kind of fermentation processes moreover fermented products have geographical specific uh, specifications so for example uh, certain yeast or certain molds develop in certain uh, conditions only so the kind of cheese which is prepared in italy or france cannot be prepared in india because the environment does not have uh, those kind of microbes uh, okay so that's how so, uh, some uh, locations uh, have specific advantages and that's how they produce their regional food for example in europe uh, cheese and breads are widely consumed in africa products manufactured from fermented uh, manioc play a key role in the diet so a lot of fermented products are included into the uh, diet of african people in asia product derived from soy or fish are consumed on a daily basis so in asian region a uh, lots of soya product uh, soya chop and everything all uh, these are fermented product basically now let's talk about breads okay as i told you in the in the introduction yesterday that we need to learn the name of uh, microorganisms being responsible for a particular process so uh, in the bread there are uh, microorganisms help in two ways okay they may produce gas to live in or raise the dough okay as we know that to make a bread uh, what we do we, we we take flour then we add hot water and then we you know activate the yeast and then we add yeast we add a little bit of sugar okay sugar is already there in, but to increase the process of fermentation we can add extra sugar so once this is done we'll leave the dough okay for certain time in this period of time what will happen the yeast will start the process of fermentation and the carbon dioxide will rise okay so this rise in carbon dioxide is increasing the size of the dough and uh, the production of ethyl alcohol okay because that that is produced during the process of fermentation gives a specific taste to the bread okay so those who say the bread is non alcoholic it's uh, not non alcoholic uh, percentage of uh, alcohol is there in the bread because that's a result of uh, process of fermentation okay the most important uh, yeast that is used in the process of uh, making bread is saccharomyces cerevisiae okay this name of the yeast it should be learned by you saccharomyces cerevisiae then uh, we are talking about meat product in the image you can see these are uh, sausages okay and these sausages once cured and uh, wrapped into the intestine they are hanged okay and the environmental microbes or uh, the molds okay uh, they give them specific flavors okay so meat uh, this meat starter culture are used to make uh, dried fermented products such as salami pepperoni 
chorizo, dried ham, lactic bacteria develop the flavor and color of the product. So lactic, we talked about yesterday also, it's a very important uh, bacteria which helps uh, in milk processing and which helps in uh, meat processing also. In addition, a wide variety of molds are used to ripen the surfaces of sausages, okay, because surface of a sausage is of intestine, okay? it's a skin, uh, layering of a, you know, a intestine. So that intestine is a little hard to consume, okay, but these molds, what they do, they ferment it and it becomes very, uh, you know, uh, you know, eatable, okay, for, for the guest. So that is done uh, because of uh, these microbes. And one important thing that is done, uh, this fermentation process or the molding process or you know, use of microorganisms, they increase the shelf life of a particular product. Okay, and that's, so that's also a, a very important quality. As you can see, it's so written over here, they, help, they have a preserving effect, okay, natural preserving effect. So the for, for the fermentation of sausages, uh, which bacteria is used is uh, Pedococcus oversea. So this is the name of the bacteria that is used for meat product. Then we have uh, alcoholic beverages and uh, alcoholic beverages can only be produced with the help of yeast. Okay, But apart from yeast, lactic acid also plays a very important role uh, in the processing of alcoholic beverages. Okay, now I'll explain you a little bit about it <clears throat> because this is my subject also. Uh, what happens, uh, you no, know, once, uh, for let's take an example of uh, wine only, okay. Once the grape juice is there, this grape juice uh, uh, is added with the yeast and then yeast goes for the process of fermentation. Now, after the process of fermentation, we'll press the grape juice and the yeast will uh, be away, okay? Uh, it will be removed from the process. Whatever we have will be known as wine, okay? It could be red wine, it could be white wine. That depends on the process that we are following. Once the wine is uh, done, it goes for the process of maturation and maturation happens in the oak cask, okay? And oak cask have lactic acid, okay? Because uh, they are made of... Uh, no, oak wood and oak wood naturally has lactic acid into it. So when the wine is maturing uh, in the in the oak cask, what happens? This lactic acid gets converted to malic acid. Okay, lactic acid gets converted to malic acid, and this is known as malolactic fermentation. So a wine goes for two kind of fermentation. One is the uh, alcoholic fermentation where you know, sugar is converted to alcohol. Second fermentation which happens in the oak cask where the lactic acid is converted to malic acid and that is known as malolactic fermentation. So this is done uh, by these uh, yeast. One is Saccharomyces cerevisiae. Next yeast is uh, Saccharomyces Carlsberg genesis and it is used in uh, beer making only. Okay, Saccharomyces Carlsberg genesis used in beer making only. Saccharomyces ellipsoides is used in wine making only. Okay, it's a natural yeast. Saccharomyces cerevisiae is a cultured yeast used for making all kinds of alcoholic beverages, you name it, and it is made by Saccharomyces cerevisiae. It is also used in wine making. Okay. But uh, the other yeast, Saccharomyces ellipsoides, it is uh, natural yeast and it is present in the environment and it's used only in wine making. Okay. And the yeast which is there in the center, Saccharomyces Carlsberg genesis, this yeast is used only in the making, uh, making of beers. Okay. Then we have uh, dairy products. So, what are these dairy products? And uh, so mixture of uh, basically streptococcus lactis and saccharomyces uh, cremors are used for the production of uh, acid and leuconotoc uh, dextrinium and citrovorum for the production of flavors and aromas. Okay, so you your tongue will get twisted while uh, you know, naming these yeast 
okay but they are important you will have to learn them that what yeast uh, or microorganisms are used in dairy products okay so whether you name it as the cheese or the yogurt or you no know, blue cheese which is there on the slide they all are made by the process uh, you know, uh, by the use of uh, various microorganisms okay so as you can see the cheese also has various pores and these pores are result of the process of fermentation okay they have a specific aroma a specific taste and it's a result of the process of fermentation blue cheese uses a uh, penicillium roquefort and this penicillium is is very important uh, microorganism in food processing industry this on uh, all the regular cheese goes uh, you know, for leukotoc uh, strains so okay, these are uh, microbes which are used in cheese making then streptococcus thermophilus and lactobacillus bulgarius so all these are you know, names of microorganisms used in the making of uh, you know, cheese product and dairy products okay so that's it for this session and i hope uh, you must have got some new names and uh, some new knowledge